Hello everyone, George here, KD4MXA. Over the last two videos, I tried to show how I plan and build some of my smaller beam antennas. The only difference in the way I build them, it may be it a 10 meter or this smaller 70 centimeter, is usually the boom material and the element diameter. You don't necessarily need an eighth inch thick, inch and a half square boom for an antenna that has only got one foot elements. But all of the techniques shown in building the antenna hold true, no matter what size of antenna you are building. Now that we have gotten our antenna built, it is time to throw it in the air and test it and see how well it performs and what adjustments need to be made. I built this 20 foot test tower out of 3 quarter inch EMT conduit and it allows me to put smaller antennas up for testing. Normally you only have to lift the antenna a few feet off the ground in a vertical position to get a good initial reading, but I usually just go ahead and put it up on this tower. This antenna measures almost 15 feet long and is just about all I can handle by myself. If you do not feel comfortable testing by yourself, please get some help. A simple call to on a local repeater or a quick text message will usually get some help fairly quick. After we have the antenna in the air, we will attach our antenna analyzer and see how close we came to hitting our target frequency of 50.150. Looks like ours is 50.450, so our loop is a little too short. We will lower the antenna and make the loop section larger. We will do this by removing the black tape that is temporarily holding the elements in place and sliding it out an eighth of an inch on both sides of the loop at a time. Then we will raise the tower and get another reading. It will take a few tries, but the time spent now will make for a better performing antenna later. Once I get the antenna tuned where I want it, I will remove all of the black tape and rivet the elements in place. I will also add a piece of heat shrink tubing over the rivet. I will also remove the temporary coax used to test the antenna and install a new coax from the shack to the antenna. At this point, we need to make the ballon for the antenna. Justin's website has a lot of information on ballons, and the simplest one to build for me is the antenna ballon listed on his website. It is simply a quarter wavelength piece of tubing. Our target frequency for this antenna is 50.150, so the wavelength of that frequency is 235.45363 inches. So a quarter wavelength would be 58.8634075 inches, but for us normal tape measure reading people, we will call it 58 and 7 eighths. We will take a piece of 3 eighths inch tubing and mount it in a vise and bend it down to a 90 degree angle. Then we will hammer that in flat so we can drill a hole in it. This end will mount onto the inner coax feed point. From that angle, we will measure 58 and 7 eighths and mark it very well. Now we need to make that end look like the other end, more or less. It isn't important how it looks as long as it does not touch any of the elements along the antenna. Just make sure you don't lose that mark as it is the hole position that needs to be drilled to be able to mount it onto the boom. In addition to this, we will also add a coax choke ballon. I usually grab a piece of three or four inch PVC and wind a few turns onto it and use tie straps to hold it all in place. Now let's look back and see how much this antenna cost us to make. The half inch tubing was $24.90. I originally said we needed six pieces of 3 8 inch tubing, but I forgot about the antenna ballon, so we need seven pieces, and that comes to $20.65. The boom material came to $44.38, and the element clamps were $28. Miscellaneous hardware came to about $30 for a grand total of $147.93. Not bad, plus you have the satisfaction of saying you made a very professional looking antenna. If you do not have the time and are interested in just buying one of these antennas, have a look at Innov Antennas. I believe Justin sells one very similar to this. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me build this antenna as much as I did showing you how to build it. There are so many aspects of ham radio, whether it's rag chewing, contesting, electronics, digital, microwave, antenna building, the list is endless. Get out there and enjoy the hobby. Build something. Call CQ. The world is listening. The world is listening. The world is listening. This is George, KD4MXA, 73.